Alright guys, it has been another long, strange, rainy, gloomy day here in the collapse of global, no, I'm sorry, this is in the end times, here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, where I am, uh, find myself back in the Maggie May, the USS Maggie May camper. Here going on midnight on Sunday night, September 5th, 2021, waiting for this uh, dude who, you know, this troublemaker who had me up at 1.30 in the morning. Uh, I just called the guy. He's He was at Walmart, he told me. And I said, brother, I said, I really wish that you could get here and get settled back into the tiny house so I can, uh, you know, feel like the flock is home and my job is done for the day. And he promised to be a good boy and come back. <sighs> so anyway, uh, I don't know, just, just dealing with this dude, it's just... Uh, I don't know, this is just kind of a segue into just something I've been dealing with lately that I've been somewhat in denial about, and I just wanted to throw it out there to the tribe about, I don't know how to deal with this. I have never, this is the first time I've ever encountered something like this, and, and what is going on in my life is... Uh, Let's see, let's be very careful where we tread here. Someone that I care about very deeply uh, on several levels in my life that you may, you may or may not know this person. Uh, and so you may or may not be aware of this, but this person, this friend of mine is uh, losing their fucking mind. I mean, literally, literally, I am watching a, a brilliant, uh, very intelligent, uh, sharp-witted, uh, you know, s someone, and obviously, uh, a doomer, who gets it, how fucked we are, uh, you know, someone who has been an important figure in my life, although not as, as important of a figure as I <clears throat> was hoping uh, this person would be in my life. But what I've noticed recently is that this person who I care deeply about is literally cracking up. Now, I had a few signs of this back when I met this person a couple of years ago. There were a, a couple of clues that what I was dealing with was not someone of a, quote, sound mind. But guys, I'm not of a sound mind, all right? I have no interest in people with sound minds, you know? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not talking someone who has just drifted away from the normies, from the dominant cultural paradigm. I mean, I am a fan of people who are not normal. Okay, I am not normal. And I say this with a great amount of, of self-congratulations. I seek out in my life people who have uh, questioned everything and decided that they are not normies. This is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about someone who has questioned the dominant cultural paradigm uh, and, and, and is refusing to drink the Kool-Aid. I respect people who... Uh, reject the dominant cultural paradigm and 
and refuse to drink the Kool-Aid. I'm not talking about that level of, uh, of, of watching a, a mind dissolve. Uh, and I'm not even talking about, you, you know, the conspiracy wacko level. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking about where if you got a Doomer, a Normie, and a Chemtrail wacko in the same room, and you added a, an anti-masker, a mask Nazi, an anti-vaxxer, and a vax Nazi. Okay, you know, see what I'm talking about? You, you take the wide variety of, of people uh, who, who disagree on things, and they would watch this person and all agree. This, this is where the anti-vaxxer and the vax Nazi, the anti-masker and the mask Nazi, the doomer and the normie would all agree that what we're witnessing here is someone's mind just turning to to mush and and, and and I'm also not talking about Alzheimer's and dementia. I'm talking about schizophrenia. What do you do? I uh, I have never I've never dealt with this in 62 years having uh, you know someone I care about, just literally losing their mind and becoming, do you become schizophrenic? You know what I'm saying, but just watching, just before my eyes, watching this brilliant mind just dissolve into this uh, paranoid, schizophrenic, uh, you know, getting messages, uh, just uh, uh, imagining crazy paranoid shit that isn't happening, uh, and 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 I don't know what to do about it. I mean, it it breaks my heart, watch, watching this person, uh, just literally lose all contact with, quote, subjective reality. And it's just, it's just heartbreaking. And, and, I, and I don't know what to do. I, I mean, uh, wh what do you do when someone you love and care about is clearly going fucking bonkers right before your eyes, particularly, you know, when this person is, there's some barriers between you and this person. There's, they, I, I, I know goddamn well uh, it, it, it is, quote, none of my business that this person's mental uh, degradation, is, quote, it, it's none of your fucking business, Ambone. And even if it was your business, there is nothing you can do to help this person. And, uh, and, and it, it, it's basically just kind of like depression. I absolutely do not uh, support the, you know, the psychotropic uh, big pharma. It's... Uh, you know, I, 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 I feel like uh, the Indian chief and in one flew over the cuckoo's nest. It, it, you know, just watching in, uh, in, in helpless horror as, as someone I love and care about just go fucking bonkers in, in front of my eyes. And... Uh, and, and, and you see the thing about when people are, are, are literally fucking crazy, you, you, you know, I mean, we all use the term 
crazy, psycho, whatever, but sometimes those labels are real. When, when you really are dealing w w with a crazy psycho in your life, obviously what I need to do is just completely cut this person out of my life. Uh, and it's just, it is just not that easy. There's absolutely nothing I'm able to do to help this person. And, and you know, you don't even know with crazy people if they're, if they are any more tormented than non-crazy people. It could be, you, you know, that schizophrenics are, are, are less fucking tortured and uh, convoluted than uh, th than the rest of us wackos. And uh, but anyway, and I know this person is watching this video, and and all I can say is, uh, I don't know. I, it, it's not like. You know, what, what do you say to someone? I know this person is listening to this. I have no idea if this person listening to this even realizes that I'm talking about them. See, that's the first thing. I, you don't know. Uh, trying, you know, trying to get inside the mind of a damaged mind. Uh, so I don't even know if this person listening to these words has any clue uh, that, that, that I'm even talking about them. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you do know who I'm, uh, that I'm talking about you, all I can say is I wish there was something I could do for you. Uh, more than anything in the world, I wish there... I don't even know if you're in pain. I hope you're not. I, I, I hope that wherever your mind is leading you, is leading you out of pain. And, and that, it is, uh, that, it is, that it is your chosen form of escape from the fucking realities of this life. Uh, that it that it's just it, it's just it, it's your your reaction to uh, what is going on uh, on, on this fucking planet as, as everything goes to hell in a handbasket. I'm I'm hoping that you're that that I'm wrong here and, and that you're actually getting some relief. It hurts me. That I can do nothing for you, it it uh, and, and 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 to just watch you uh, just spiral down into, and, and it just terrifies me to think. You, 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 you know, it just terrifies me to think about where this is going to end. And what's going to happen is when you reach a point and then you're just going to disappear once and for all and forever out of my life, I will have no idea at that point if you're in some fucking uh, nut house, if you're fucking... Uh, you know, doped up on on some goddamn Thorazine and Stelazine or whatever. Oh, God. And anyway, for what it's worth, I love you. I don't know what else to say to you. As crazy as you are, for some reason, I love you. And uh, I wish I could give you a big hug. 
but you're not here. And my guess is I will never see you again. I will never hug you again. And uh, and I want to thank you for the joy you have brought into my life. And as much as I curse you for the pain and suffering you have brought into my life, uh, I will try to remember what made me fall in love with you. And uh, I don't know what else to say. I don't know whether to disable comments to this video or not, but obviously I want to see if you leave a comment because this probably is goodbye.